Okay, Genshin Battle Themes tier list. Uh, I have no intro for this, so let's just get right into it. Photon of Fluctuation. The first song in our list is Photon of Fluctuation. It's, um, you know, you can hear this melody throughout Genshin from different battle themes to literally in character demos and well it's just that memorable um is it good though um uh, it's kind of repetitive but i don't think it's bad a lot of people consider the monster themes as tutorial battle music and i'm like yeah you're, you're not wrong i can agree with that so where would i put this in a tier list Let's go with Go with B plus. Okay. Let's move on to the next song. Right, right hook battle. You know, I actually like this one. The the startup here. The startup is pretty 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 nice. Yeah, I actually like this. This is the one I remember the most. Even more than photon of fluctuation which is like a really common song outside of monster i like this one um it's still not as good as the other songs uh other songs in other battle themes you know but it's good it's just i don't know how to put it but it's like it's it's just above average of your uh, of your typical battle theme song but it's not as high out there you know so i like the melody i think it deserves higher than full tone of fluctuation let's go a Ooh, his resolution his resolution his resolution is pretty good too I, I, every theme song is good every song here in the list is good that's why I'm not gonna say C or even D but I actually love this one even more than the other theme songs in Mondstadt at least like it's not as no it's nowhere as good as the other one but it's still memorable in fact, I feel like this is the most loved one out of all three yeah my only problem with the Mondstadt theme songs is that I do not know where the Mondstadt uh, motives are compared to something like Inazuma and Lie. Like they're there, I, I'm sure they're there. They are there, but I cannot uh, point pinpoint them at all. So it feels like I'm just listening to a normal battle theme song instead of a Mondstadt theme song. Like it's still Mondstadt, don't get me wrong, but there's just i just can't find where the monster is i think this deserves an a plus this deserves an a plus yeah okay let's move on to the next one dragon's fine theme song Ooh. Yes, I remember this. Uh, this was used first used in Child's Domain before Dragon Spine was even released. But this one is like the atmosphere, atmospheric uh, beats on this one. I wonder why it was used in Child's Domain though. Because this feels at home in Dragon Spine than in Child's Domain. Yeah, it still feels monster though. It feels like monster, but I guess it could be higher. No, I don't think it's S. It's definitely higher than. It could be up there in number three. Uh, monster, but we'll see in number three. Let's see where is it. Let's go. Transfer it here. Yeah. Okay. Moving on, rapid as wildfires. Yes, 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 yes. Now this is this is where everything bangs for some reason. Rapid as wildfires. 
Now, this is where it becomes really good for some reason. Like, I might as well move everything from the previous entries down a tier. But, Rapid as Wildfires is great. And uh, I guess it's because they, this is the part where they started using more instruments, at least instruments that relate to the region itself. Yeah. I think I'll just have to move down everything here. Okay. And we'll move rapid as wildfires to A or S. S is way too generous. I think this deserves an A. And yeah, this feels like an A. I think the torrents, I don't think it holds as well as rapid as wildfires. It's still good, but it's a bit more tame. Yeah, it, it feels like I'm listening to Mondstadt again. But obviously, it's not a Mondstadt theme song. It's a Lie. It's just... It doesn't, uh, it's, it isn't as impactful as Rapid as Wildfires. Alright, let's put this alongside. Just above Dragon Spine. Yeah, Dragon Spine. It's not as impactful, but it's still good to listen with. Hmm. You know what? I think I'm gonna move everything again back up. My opinion, my opinions wasn't wrong at, after all. Yeah, rapid of wildfires, pretty, pretty s. Just this one. If this is banger, and I won't, but I don't want to give it. This one is pretty good. Uh, I think it just puts up above the second battle theme of Lie, and here we go. Yeah. This is also where the photon of fluctuation comes from. Um, next, let's move on to Inazuma. Wow, we're skipping to Inazuma. Uh, that's fine. I think it's fine. And we're starting off with Overlord of the Thunderstorm. This is also where photon of fluctuation comes in. Inazuma theme songs are like very menacing, very, very menacing. It, it's very dangerous. It's like you're always placed in a dangerous situation. Compared to Lie, where all the theme songs are epic, and in Mondstadt, I've said it before, Mondstadt is the, the tutorial region, and most of the songs are pretty tutorialish. In Inazuma, it's like wow it feels like i'm always in danger and the use of photon of fluctuation here is pretty pretty good and also the the inazuma motifs are pretty recognizable that's one of the best parts of inazuma theme song except for duels of mist which is like we'll talk about later but for now overload of the thunderstorm that's a it's really good, man. It's really good. Uh, S. S tier above Lie. Yes. It's like it's really worthy of an S plus, but... Oh, should I put it in S plus? Oh... S plus, whatever. I don't really care. This is my video. <laughs> yeah, okay. Let's move on to the next. My person is... I don't think it's as good as Overlord of the Thunderstorm. It it's, doesn't hit as well as the other Inazuma theme songs, honestly. I wonder, oh wow, they actually have Photon of Fluctuation here too. Fiery Pursuit doesn't stand out. And it doesn't really seem to stand out. It's kind of repetitive. Um, I guess that's a... I think I'll put Fiery Pursuit in... Around just around ah, A plus. Yes, A plus. Against the invisible net. Okay, this one. This one is kinda banger. But hmm. 
against the invisible net it's good but i really don't want to it's not as uh menacing as the other ones i don't really find it too memorable and it's kind of forgettable so i'll just put it on b plus really it's still nice to listen but it's it doesn't really feel the same way as overload of a thunderstorm do well in the mist i know where to put this one oh my goodness dude oh yeah let's put this on s plus just above battle of the thunderstorm um look there's a lot of reason why it's really good it's mostly it mostly consists of japanese instruments there's no use of anything orchestraic at least at least out at least it, it doesn't feel like there's any use of uh non-japanese uh instruments here I, I, and from the mv itself i don't think they actually did and that's why i love it it's it's solely using japanese uh, instruments and that's pretty but that's like the icing of the cake the melody of this one it's like it's constantly shifting the melodies are constantly shifting and i'm like damn bro i could listen to this all day it, it feels like something out of a rhythm game you know it's so good i really it feels like i want to chart this on a rhythm game which i did but i never completed because i i guess i'm bad at that because the song is slow, actually. It has a slow BPM. It, it might have a fast one, but if you try to single tap it, it's like, it's really slow. Yeah, it's so good, man. It's really good. I cannot express it enough. It's really good. And that's why it deserves an S tier, okay? I mean, it's literally on the title itself. It feels like you're in a duel. Even though you're gonna win anyways. <laughs> You know, listening to this with with uh, the dummy from Inazuma, I forgot what his name is. Uh, it, it it's really fitting, and that's why I love it. That's why it deserves an S tier. I want to I want to listen to it all day, but I'm gonna skip on to the next one, which is the Encanomia ones. Encanomias are. It's, it's pretty great dude i love them but they're not as good as the inazuma duel in the mist but it's still pretty banger i'd give them i'd give them s honestly all all two uh, the first two i will listen to i think i'm gonna give them all an s for um combat beneath the waves the beginning is pretty great but then when it comes and but when it's after the beginning there's this there's this uh, violin. I think it's a violin. I assume it's a violin, and that's why it's it's really it's so soothing. It's especially for a battle theme. It's stupidly soothing, and I think that deserves an S. I, I'm not even done with the theme song yet because there's still the the singing part. But yeah. It, it feels like it feels so childish which is oddly fitting especially for the lore of Enkanomiya <laughs> if you know you know <laughs> yeah it's pretty good Enkanomiya theme songs are oddly childish and that's not that doesn't make them bad it's just that's one of the points one of the selling points of uh, Enkanomiya battle themes it's so childish but also legendaries of sorts you know people compare this with uh pirate pirate songs and like i can get that but i don't really think it's you can you should compare this with pirates it does feel uh very aquatic though so there's that next is undersea encounters now undersea of encounters it isn't as good as the first one the previous one but it's still good it's really good okay now this is more uh oceanic you know it's more at sea compared to the previous one because the, while the previous one feels more childish this one feels more like you're literally underwater 
again, fitting for the whole lore of Enkanomiya. It's honestly, it's pretty atmospheric, but it's not as banging. It's not as epic as uh, combat beneath the beneath the waves. So, I'll give this one an A plus. I think it's just there, here. No, it's above that. <laughs> Right, let's move on to the next. No turning back. This is a remix of another song, which I kind of forgot. But it's a really good remix, especially the uh, guitar riff, uh, the guitar one, the guitar segments. Like you can barely hear it, but it's there. It's really good. The only depressing part is it's only played in the Bishop boss. Like. Please don't. I like to listen it more. But you know those jokes where they just remix the opening at the end to make it more epic? Yeah, this is what it is. And it's unfortunate that you can only listen to it once because it's so good. It's really, really good. And I, it really deserves more than just a boss theme. Uh, but uh, I don't know. I don't think Hoyaverse will really do that. <laughs> but regardless, uh, it's good. I'll give it uh, an S. Okay, I'll give it an S. We'll cover the domain songs in a different video alongside Sumeru, I guess. But for now, we're just gonna be doing this uh, here. Okay, yes, that's th No Turning Back. Epic song. Moving on. Storm Terror the Valiant's theme. It's stupidly forgettable. It's just not good, even to the standards of the Monster theme song. And I think this is the first one we're just gonna put in B. Yeah, it's. I feel like it's the only one that will be on B. <laughs> it, it's just not as memorable, man. Not to mention the boss itself is just just so easy to do. That's why you just don't listen to it as much. It's good. It's still good. Don't 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 mis don't mistake me on that. But yeah, it, it's just not good. <laughs> it's just it's just re not so epic, man. Next is the first phase for Andreas. Uh, I don't know. Um. I'm just gonna put it. Uh, just below the Valiant theme song because like it's yes it's very menacing guys it's very mess menacing but I don't think it's uh, really good <laughs> like like the Valen, uh the wolf boss is just also easy and that's why the theme song isn't really memorable but at least with uh, with uh, the Valiant's theme song, there's some epicness in it. And this one is just, it's like, it's like, it's a free, it's a free theme song, which basically it is. And free theme songs aren't memorable on a grand scheme of things, unless you're Sans for some reason. <laughs> However, his second phase, which is actually better. Symphony of the Boreal Wind. This one is an instant A really it some it for some reason this reminds me of uh who uh Honkai. Like the beginning reminds me of Honkai. Like every time I hear it, every time I listen to it, it comes up to my playlist. I just like wait, am I listening to Honkai right now? And then when I check it out, wait, when I check it out, it's like oh it's not Honkai, it's the Valen's second theme. And it's pretty good. It's not as great, but it's still memorable. It's still memorable for some reason. Because like the Valens theme, while yeah, you can't hear it a lot, you're literally just gonna one shot the boss. At least it's there's still some epicness in it, you know? Some stakes. It feels like you're there's some stakes in it. Yeah. It's an A plus it's an A. And we'll move on. To child. Child's boss theme. I feel like Child's boss theme is pretty underrated. Because let's be real, 
mm, even if we try to one shot it if you're a very casual player you will struggle on having on trying to uh quickly defeat child that's why his theme songs are pretty pretty great and memorable they're not forgettable <laughs> i think this one i think the free theme song is better than his second theme song because you get to listen to it extensively since they're they are literally just the phase one and phase two <laughs> I think this is an A, just above the Liang ones. Yeah. Okay, let's move on to the next. Wrath of Monokerus Sili. I hope I mentioned that right. Uh well, it's a theme song. <laughs> but it's not bad. I just don't think it's really as good as the first one for some reason. Like, I think this one is a bit too try-hard, to be honest. Yeah, it sounds way too try-hard, which is stupidly fitting for a character like Child. <laughs> um, I think it's an A for me. Yeah, it's above Andrea's face toothy. I'm sorry, if you like this, I'm not, I, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna respect that, okay? I, I'm not against it. But I just don't think it's as good as the first one because there's like, the first one feels like there's more character in it. Well, this one, it feels way too try hard. <laughs> yeah. All right, next, Dance with a Great Vortex. You can only listen to this once. And I am not, I don't really care about this one. Um. Instant B just above the uh, uh, Andrea's face one. You can is there still? Yeah, it's it's just forgettable, man. Like you can you literally hear this once and then nothing else unless you participated on 2021's Lantern Night. But other than that, meh, eh. it's better than Andrea's themes. But yeah, you know, let's move it above the violin, okay? Yeah, it's epic, but it's forgettable, and that's why it's not good. <laughs> oh, to Ashdaha. Yeah, my complaints on face uh, Andreas can be can be applied here. But hey, it, at least it's better than Devalin. Don't get me wrong. It, the build it's it serves as a build up than a uh, a pre theme, which is like good i guess yeah okay i don't really have much to say about this it's epic eh, but for but pretty forgettable i find it funny too because while it is phase one phase one lasts for like 30 percent of the battle the rest of the battle is the phase two one which is the more epic one <laughs> rage beneath the mountains dude I live for this theme song. It's so good, so good <laughs> that I that you know what I like. Yeah, let's just add it to my playlist of good video game soundtracks. I think this deserves an S. Okay, just under under the first bat theme song battle song for Encarnomia. Okay. A lot, I think a lot of people really love this, but nobody, nobody seems to, nobody seems to mention it. I, I think I don't know. You know what? Let's move it to just under Inazuma theme song, uh, Inazuma theme one. Yeah, I just like it so much. Now, all right, ne to the next battle is Chrysalis Suspiri. I don't want to mention these titles again, but. La Signora. Okay. La Signora, Phase 1 and Phase 2 are great. But I like this. I really love this one. It's it's really dark. It's really it sounds so evil, but like that's that's the best part. It's really great, especially for a phase one. And unlike Child, both theme songs, both faces are great, have great theme songs. 
yeah and and the orchestra the orchestra here the orchestra being used here is also great so phase one i think i'll put it uh, on s just above lie actually just before Enkanomiya. yeah i think it's good and it's honestly i feel like it's underrated too because it's this phase one and this is literally just senora's theme because you can literally hear this on the Fatui trailer <laughs> which is depressing <laughs> so yeah La Senora phase 1 let's go to La Senora phase 2 I, while I think this is oh, really great uh, in fact it's better than phase 2 of uh, Childs I kinda don't like it um, like it isn't as try hardy as Childs but it's still there it's pretty good you know what? i'll put it i'll put this one on Enkanomiya. yeah just above Enkanomiya. uh on a plus yes this is an a plus let's move on to the next bane of ambitions stupidly enough it's pretty underrated and the reason why it's underrated because you literally can only hear this twice and it's in the Archon Quest so that's even worse but I love this it's a really great free theme I give this just above a child wait child yep child's face one and yeah I have not, not a lot to say, but the melody and the rhythm here is pretty great. It's repetitive though, but it's it fits. It's like it's like Duel in the Mist light, you know. Moving on, Thundering of the Merciless. Good, really good. Literally final boss material because it is the final boss, at least in Inazuma's Archon Quest. And the amount of motifs here being played, the amount of Inazuma themes remixed into this one is pretty, it's, it's well done. And I love it. I love this one. In fact, I put, I think this is an S, an easy S. You put this um, above the theme song of Enkanomiya. Yeah, it's a really good theme song and I really want, I, I can't wait for uh the future boss uh, theme song which uh, coincidentally our next boss okay technically it stays the same boss but you know what i mean the almighty violet thunder it's a remix it's like no turning back but i uh, but the beats dude like it makes your head bang you know it really makes you want to bang your head to the goddamn beats that's why I. It's good. It's really good. It's not S tier. It's S plus tier material. But goddamn, bro. It, it, it hits so hard. I'm gonna put this on. Just above. On S. In fact, I want to put this on. No, I'm not putting this on S plus. I will not put this on S plus. We'll just stick. It'll just stick on S. What about phase two? Okay, so I'll just arrange the rest of the theme, the rest of the theme songs in haven't listened, because yes, I have not listened to them well enough to that makes me want to dub uh, it. Technically, the Chasm and Sumeru, Chasm and Sumeru, I I played in, in those regions long enough, so I can basically make a uh, thing a tier I can basically make I can basically rank them but I don't think so I don't think I've listened to them long enough that makes me makes me want to listen to them all day uh, makes me want to rank them yet the chasm in 2022's golden apple archipelago's uh, theme songs while they're great uh, I I uh, while they're released already, I don't want to put that put them in the tier list yet. So we're just gonna hold them off for now. Sumeru theme songs too. I'm gonna wait for their full release and a bit more theme songs, uh, battle themes, and 
the domains because uh, for some reason it's not in this list yet so we're just gonna hold them off for now will so if you want me to make a part two i'll make a part two i uh, i don't know when i'll make a part two however but i will soon so yes so for now this is part one tier list this tier list was not created by me i'd like to thank um that guy i don't know i, I actually just found it on a discord server i'll send the tier list the battle theme below in the description below if you want to make your uh tier list but that's all for this uh video and hopefully i'll make a part two sooner than later anyway thank you all for watching hope you can share your tier list down below in the comment section please do because mine is incredibly generous and <laughs> yeah, i think it deserves more than just this all right thank you for watching see you next time